Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and you will learn health and medicine through my videos. Please hit like and subscribe and please hit the notification bell so that you don't miss my videos. Phases of Digestion Now digestion is a process that starts in mouth. The first phase of digestion is known as cephalic phase. In your mouth, you have your salivary gland that secretes salivary amylase and you have your tongue that helps in mixing of food with saliva and you have your teeth that does the mechanical breakdown. Cephalic phase starts when your sensory organs like eyes, nose, ear and even your thought process send signal to your nervous system and your nervous system through vagus nerve stimulates the digestive organs like stomach and small intestine. As you can see here, through olfactory nerve, optic nerve, vestibulocochlear nerve and your thought process, the brain gets stimulated Vagus nerve stimulates the salivary gland to secrete salivary amylase and it also stimulates the stomach to secrete gastrin. The food that you eat is broken down into starch which is a type of polysaccharide. Salivary amylase is responsible for the chemical breakdown of food into starch. There are three types of salivary glands that secrete salivary amylase. The first is parotid gland, the second is submandibular gland and the third is sublingual gland. While saliva is responsible for your chemical digestion of food, teeth is involved in mastication through which the food is mechanically broken down into smaller pieces so that saliva can act on it. Once food is broken down and mixed with saliva thoroughly, it is converted into a paste which is known as bolus. Now the second phase of digestion is the gastric phase. In cephalic phase, due to secretion of gastrin, the HCL was already present in stomach. The secretion of HCL starts in cephalic phase itself and once the food reaches fundus, it stimulates vagus nerve to secrete more gastrin which in return leads to secretion of more HCL. When gastrin levels are increased, it stimulates the parietal cells to secrete more hydrochloric acid. In your stomach, you have your gastric pits which contains several gastric glands. Parietal cells are responsible for secretion of hydrochloric acid. Chief cells are responsible for secretion of pepsinogen and G cells are responsible for secretion of gastrin. 
Inside your stomach, pepsinogen is converted into pepsin when it is mixed with HCl. Pepsin helps in chemical digestion of protein. Protein is broken down into polypeptides. When bolus is mixed with gastric juice, it is converted to a semi-solid substance which is known as chyme. Now you can see that in your stomach you have these gastric pits which contains gastric glands which secrete gastric juices. Inside your stomach you also have your mucosal layer which secretes mucosa that protects from the acidic pH of stomach. The important thing to know is that the G cells of stomach start secreting gastrin when vagus nerve is stimulated in cephalic phase so that when food enters the stomach and gastric phase is started the HCl is already present inside the stomach. Now our last phase is known as the intestinal phase. In duodenum, you have your several accessory organs whose secretions are drained into the duodenum. Bile that is formed in liver and stored in gallbladder through common bile duct is secreted into the duodenum through the duodenal papilla. Pancreatic duct also secretes the pancreatic juice in the duodenum. Now, the intestinal phase starts when the pyloric region of stomach is stretched and it stimulates the vagus nerve. And the vagus nerve stimulates the intestine to secrete CCK and secretin. CCK full form is cholecystokinin and secretin Secretin decreases the gastrin production, thus reducing the amount of HCl present in stomach. Cholecystokinin stimulates the gallbladder to secrete bile. It also stimulates the pancreas to secrete pancreatic juice. Some other intestinal secretions are proteases, nucleases, enterokinase, chemotrypsinogen, trypsinogen, Now we will see how food is broken down in small intestine. Polysaccharides which are a type of carbohydrate are broken down into monosaccharides. Through the action of pancreatic amylase which is a part of pancreatic juice. The pancreatic secretions include Pancreatic amylase, pancreatic lipase, 
बायकार्बोनेट आयन्स monosaccharides like sucrose maltose and lactose are digested by sucrase maltase and lactase respectively polypeptides which is a type of protein is broken down into amino acids by the action of chemotrypsin and trypsin which are the active form of chemotrypsinogen and trypsinogen fat are emulsified by bile and then broken into fatty acids and glycerol the emulsified fat is broken down into fatty acid by the action of pancreatic lipase in duodenum the ph is slightly alkaline because the mucosal layer is not as thick as the stomach the alkaline nature of the small intestine is due to the bicarbonate ions secreted by the pancreas now the thing to remember is that secretin is inversely proportional to gastrin which means when secretin is secreted the gastrin release is suppressed in the stomach now we will see how cephalic phase gastric phase and intestinal phase are regulated cephalic phase is regulated by the vagus nerve which stimulates the salivary gland to secrete salivary amylase and in cephalic phase gastrin is secreted which maintains the gastric phase and in intestinal phase secretin reduces the amount of gastrin which reduces the acidic ph of stomach to summarize the process of digestion we can say that gastrin is involved in maintenance of gastric phase and secretin is responsible in maintenance of intestinal phase so we can say that gastrin is the regulatory hormone of gastric phase and secretin is the regulatory hormone of the intestinal phase if you like the video please subscribe to my channel for new and latest videos on health and medicine